Hey guys, so today I will show you how you can take your CAD modeling and export it inside of Plasticity into a mesh so you can use it further in your normal 3D software. And in this tutorial we will use our screwdriver that we've modeled in our first part. So if you want to learn how to model that screwdriver from start to finish in Plasticity, check out that card or go to link in the description and check out the first part. And yeah, and before we start, if you want to learn Plasticity in depth in much more detail, check out my premium Plasticity courses. They are really amazing. I explain everything from completely start to finish, every little detail, so every one of you can follow along. So first link in the description, check them out and let's jump in our tutorial. All right, so let's have a look at our screwdriver here and export it. So yeah, now we can't really use it in Cinema 4D, Blender and all that stuff. So we go here to the top left and go to export, save as. And this one we call screwdriver export and select here OBJ and save it and perfect. So here you have now a few different options and most of them, in most of the cases you don't need, you just need the first four ones. So for example, you have first of all here the topology triangles. So that looks like that. And yeah, I personally never use this or very rarely. I just need yeah, topology for product renderings. And yeah, so, and I'm also not doing anything with games. So yeah, but then you also have quads and n-gons. So in my opinion, n-gons is perfect and works most of the cases absolutely beautiful. And especially if you're just doing still ads and product renderings and all that stuff. So what I'm doing, n-gons is perfect because it looks pretty clean. You can even unwrap, so I never unwrap, but I mean, you could because yeah, good luck to unwrap that, but n-gons is fine. And then you have here a density slider. So if you bring it up, then you see you get more density, but you get on the big surfaces more dens density, but also here on the small fillets. So if I want to do high quality photorealistic product renderings, what I always do, I want of course the most detail. And I really don't care also so much how much um, topology I have. So I could even go with that, but here it's a little bit overkill. So I like to go density to one, or maybe that's already a little bit too, too much. So maybe, I don't know, like 0.95. And that would, yeah, would be super, super smooth. But here you see the fillet is too crazy. So for that, we have here a min width slider, bam. So if you activate it, you see 0.1, you don't have basically any detail in those little fillets here, right? So let's go here back, you see? So if we drag that down, you see we are getting more and more detail. And let's just drag, so yeah, you really have to go to very low values till you get the fillet detail. And here you see, bam, this chamfer here is starting to break and the lower you go, the the more detail you are uh, getting. So let me show it to you here. So you see now we have a really good fillet. If we go a little bit higher, you see we are just getting less and less, but I want more detail, but not too crazy. So I would go with something like that. And you see, we see a little bit here of polygons. So if I want to do a high res close up, I would even go here with density one. And look, the thing is, so this min width slider is only controlling here those fillets, you know, but not that main whole surface. Yeah. But again, as I said, I really don't care so much about topology because I just do product renderings and yeah, I don't care if I have I don't know, like 20,000 or 50,000 polygons. And yeah, so these are the main settings. Sometimes you also want to use here max width. So then you break here those long shapes up. So yeah, I don't know, maybe you want to deform it or something. And if you activate here max width and you make this lower and lower, you see you're breaking the shape down. So you could even get, yeah, kind of, quads, no, <laughs> right? So we are perfect. So here rectangular. So look, that's, this, that, that looks really amazing. And I don't know, I never do any cleanup and all that stuff. So yeah, but I'm fine with those big uh, polygons. So that looks fine. So yeah, I played a little bit around 
but yeah but once you're good with it so press ok and let's open here cinema 4d or blender or something and let's go to the file and just drag that in and bam you see so let me rotate that here a little bit and let me delete that default material and you see it looks absolutely beautiful and i think i forgot here fillet but look no shading errors at all everything looks absolutely beautiful and now you can just apply materials and textures and all that stuff so yeah that's basically it leave a like and subscribe so you don't miss any other plasticity tutorials check out my premium plasticity courses first link in the description and see you in my next video have a nice day bye